it's more than a job. You know, you're the kind of face of Cleveland. Uh, you're showcasing what Cleveland has to offer. The city of Cleveland is bracing to welcome visitors this year, and hotels are saying we need workers. One week from today, they hope to find those employees, including those often overlooked during a first of its kind hiring event. Months out from big events coming to Cleveland. I think you know, we're at a very interesting juncture here going into 2024. Hotels are ready to move past the lingering effects of the pandemic. We need uh, to staff up. Robert Hill is the GM for three IHG hotels. He's also the chair of the Cleveland Hotel Association, and he says hiring hasn't been easy recently. And people ghosting uh, those interviews, not showing up. In 2022, about a quarter of the hotel's positions were open. This year, it's about 12 percent, but still not enough to reopen their restaurant for lunch hour. More than a job where, you know, the face of Cleveland. The need for workers was urgent enough that for the first time, hotel managers in Cleveland got together last May. So we're all competitors. We, we compete for the same uh, business, but we came together and understood that we needed to collaborate. The result is a hiring fair next week that looks to also tap into a pool of candidates often overlooked. I think one of the biggest ones is probably bias, right? We just have some perceptions of people with disabilities and what they can and maybe can't do. Jared Daly is with the Cuyahoga County Board of Developmental Disabilities. They're working with the hotels to connect them with people with disabilities and others like veterans and immigrants. Those are the groups that still have a lot of hidden gems of people that can be great employees. Destination Cleveland is helping to promote the event, all to prepare the city for more visitors. We need to promote uh, what's great about working in our industry, and we need to, you know, staff up to be able to continue to take care. So that hiring event is happening next Thursday, February 22nd, from 1 to 6 p.m. at the Huntington Convention Center. We'll have more information on our website. And coming up in the news at 6, we take a look at how this year might compare to previous years when it comes to visitors as we sit in this hotel lobby. I know, and it <laughs> didn't really look like a hotel lobby for a second there, but now I see it. You know, we have, I know it's your tease coming up, but we do have so many events yeah. ahead for this city, and it makes you think, man, we really need the staff at the hotels because yeah. so many people from out of town, hundreds of thousands of people will be here. Right, well, so when you take a look back in, at 2019, yeah. the pandemic, right? 19.6 million visitors. Sure in Cleveland and the goal was to get to 20 million or to break that in 2020 of course you know that didn't happen and we haven't gotten there but they're hoping that that we reach that number by 2025 but I mean he was telling me that you know maybe maybe that'll happen this year so fingers crossed yeah, fingers I have a crossed. good feeling